Good evening. Buenas tardes. We want to welcome all of you to this Good Friday worship service. Les queremos dar la bienvenida a nuestro servicio de Viernes Santo. This is a time of readings and songs. Es un momento de lectura y canto. And we want you to hear the story once again. Y queremos que escuchen el relato una vez más that we have all heard many times before. Que hemos escuchado muchas veces anteriormente. But we also want you to find it meaningful yet again. Pero queremos también que encuentren significado una vez más. So we hope that you enjoy this time as well as reflect on your own life. So espero que disfruten este momento mientras también encuentran significado en, y uh, reflexionen en su propia vida. We do want to say a special thank you que hemos dado las gracias, uh, to Reverend Steve Peters, a Reverendo Steve Peters and Erica Partido, y Erica Partido for being our readers this evening. Que van a ser los lectores de esta noche. One will read in English, Uno va a leer en inglés, the other in Spanish, y la otra en español. but you will see the readings on the... Y las lecturas van a estar en la pantalla. What's it called? The uh, screen. Screen. Thank you. <laughs> Just went totally out of my head. Monitor was what I was Monitor. trying to think. The TV screen. The screen, yes. You will see the words in your own language, either English or Spanish. So even if they're reading in a different language, you will see it in both languages on the screen. Van a, en la pantalla van a ver las lecturas en ambos inglés y español. So we invite you to pray with us. So, oremos. God, thank you for this time we have to be together. Gracias por este momento que estamos reunidos. And we pray that as we journey through your last week y mientras estamos en esta jornada en la última semana of life on this earth de tu vida en esta tierra that we remember que podamos recordar not just the 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 uh, pageantry of it all, no solamente la grandeza de todo lo que sucedió, but the severity of it, pero también la severidad de lo que sucedió. That this is not a good ending, que no es un buen fin, on Friday, de, en este viernes, and as we leave this evening, y mientras uh, una vez que salimos de este lugar, we will leave with the seriousness, que podemos salir recordando la seriedad del momento of this weekend, de este fin de semana. not just with the sadness of the evening, no solamente con la tristeza de cómo terminó, but with a hope of a resurrection on Sunday. Pero con la esperanza de la resurrección el domingo. We ask in the name of Jesus our Christ. En lo pedimos en nombre de Cristo, nuestro Salvador. Amen. 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 And now, if you will, just before the next song starts, or the first song starts, if we can have the procession of the cross. Vamos a van a entrar con la cruz en silencio antes de, de la canción. Let us sing.
Please be seated. The first reading is from Matthew 26, verses 47 through 56. And while he was still speaking, oh, I'm sorry, whoops, Matthew 26, 17 to 20 and 26 to 30. Now on the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying to him, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover. When evening had come, he sat down with the twelve. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. <clears throat> then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say to you, I will not drink of, the fruit of, the, of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my maker's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Segunda lectura. Mateo 26, 36 al 46. Luego fue Jesús con sus discípulos a un lugar llamado Getsemaní y les dijo, siéntense aquí mientras yo voy allí a orar. Y se llevó a Pedro y a los dos hijos de Zebadeo y comenzó a sentirse muy triste y angustiado. Les dijo, siento en mi alma una tristeza de muerte. 
Quédense ustedes aquí y permanezcan despiertos conmigo. Enseguida Jesús se fue un poco más adelante. Se inclinó hasta tocar el suelo con la frente y oró diciendo, Dios mío, si es posible, líbrame de este trago amargo, pero que no se haga lo que yo quiero, sino lo que quieres tú. Luego volvió a donde estaban los discípulos y los encontró dormidos. Le dijo a Pedro, ¿Ni siquiera una hora pudieron ustedes mantenerse despiertos conmigo? Manténganse despiertos y oren para que no caigan en tentación. Ustedes tienen buena voluntad, pero son débiles. Por segunda vez se fue y oró así. Padre mío, si no es posible evitar que yo sufra esta prueba, hágase tu voluntad. Cuando volvió, encontré, encontró otra vez dormidos a los discípulos, porque sus ojos se le cerraban de sueño. Los dejó y se fue a orar por tercera vez, repitiendo las mismas palabras. Entonces regresó a donde estaban los discípulos y les dijo, ¿Siguen ustedes dur durmiendo y descansando? Ha llegado la hora que el Hijo del Hombre va a ser entregado en manos de los pecadores. Levántense, vámonos, ya se acerca al que me traiciona. The next reading is from Matthew 26, verses 47 through 56. And while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude and of, of, with swords and clubs, came from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now his betrayer had given them a sign, saying, Whomever I kiss... He is the one. Seize him. Immediately he went up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. But Jesus said to him, Friend, why have you come? Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and took him. And suddenly one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand, drew his sword, struck the servant of the high priest, and cut off his ear. But Jesus said to him, Put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Or do you think that I cannot now pray to my Maker, who will provide me with more than twelve legions of angels? How then could the scriptures be fulfilled, that it must happen thus? In that hour, Jesus said to the multitudes, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to take me? I sat daily with you, teaching in the temple, and you did not seize me. But all this was done 
that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. Above all powers, above all Cuarta lectura de Mateo 27, 1 a 2, 11 a 18, 21 a 26. Cuando amaneció, 
todos los jefes de los sacerdotes y los ancianos de los judíos se pusieron de acuerdo en un plan para matar a Jesús. Lo llevaron atado y se lo entregaron a Pilato, el gobernador romano. Jesús fue llevado ante el gobernador que le, que le preguntó, ¿Eres tú el rey de los judíos? Tú lo has dicho, contestó Jesús, mientras los jefes de los sacerdotes y los ancianos lo acusaban. Jesús no respondió nada. Por eso, Pilato le preguntó, ¿No oyes todo lo que te están diciendo contra ti? Pero Jesús no le contestó ni una sola palabra. De manera que el gobernador se quedó muy extrañado. Durante la fiesta, el gobernador acostumbraba a dejar un li libre un preso, el que la gente escogiera. Había entonces un preso llamado Jesús Barrabás. Y estando ellos reunidos, Pilato les preguntó, ¿a quién quieren ustedes que les pongan libertad? ¿A Jesús Barrabás o a Jesús al que llaman el Mesías? Porque se habían dado cuenta de que lo habían entregado por envidia. El gobernador les preguntó otra vez, ¿a cuál de los dos quieren ustedes que les pongan libertad? Ellos dijeron, a Barrabás. Pilato les preguntó, ¿y qué voy a hacer con Jesús, el que llaman el Mesías? Todos contestaron, crucifícalo. Pilato les dijo, pues qué mal ha hecho, pero ellos volvieron a gritar, crucifícalo. Cuando Pilato vio que no conseguía nada, sino que el alboroto era cada vez mayor, mandó traer agua y se lavó las manos delante de todos, diciendo, yo no soy responsable de la muerte de este hombre, es cosa de ustedes. Toda la gente contestó, nosotros y nuestros hijos nos hacemos responsables de su muerte. Entonces Pilato dejó libre a Barrabás, luego mandó a azotar a Jesús y lo entregó para que lo crucificaran. Please welcome Glenn Hill. Soon I will be done with the troubles of this world. Troubles of this world. Yeah. Troubles of this world. Soon I will be done with the troubles of this world. I'm going home to live with God. No more. and wailing no more weeping and wailing no more weeping and wailing I'm going home to live with God soon Troubles of this world, yeah, troubles of the world, yeah, troubles of the world. Soon I will be done with the troubles of the world. I'm going home to live.
The fifth reading is from Matthew uh, chapter 27, verses 32 through 50. Now as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they had come to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, place of a skull, they gave him sour wine mingled with gall to drink. But when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then they crucified him and divided his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Sitting down, they kept watch over him there, and they put up over his head the accusation written against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and another on the left. And those who passed by blasphemed him, wagging their heads and saying, You who destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests also, mocking with the scribes and elders, said, He saved others. Himself he cannot save. If he is the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let God deliver him now, if God will have him. For he said, I am the Son of God. Even the robbers who were crucified with him reviled him with the same thing. Now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness over all the land. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of those who stood there, when they heard that, said, This man is calling for Elijah. Immediately one of them ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on a reed, and offered it to him to drink. The rest said, Leave him alone. Let us see if Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit.
Sexta lectura, Mateo 27, versículos 55 a 60. Estaban allí, mirando de lejos, muchas mujeres que habían seguido a Jesús desde Galilea y que lo habían ayudado. Entre ellas se encontraba María Magdalena, María la madre de Santiago y de José, y la madre de los hijos de Zebedeo. Cuando ya anochecía, llegó un hombre rico llamado José, natural de Arimetea, que también se había hecho seguidor de Jesús. José fue a ver a Pilato y le pidió el cuerpo de Jesús. Pilato ordenó que, que se lo dieran y José tomó el cuerpo, lo envolvió en una sábana de lino limpia y lo puso en un sepulcro nuevo de su propiedad, que había hecho cavar en la roca. Después de tapar la entrada del sepulcro, con una gran piedra, se fue.
comes time for us to have a remembrance of that fateful night. Nos llega el momento para recordar esa, ese momento. A night that Jesus gathered with his disciples much like we are gathered. Noche donde se reunió Jesús <coughs> con sus discípulos. But they were together to share a meal. Estaban reunidos para compartir una cena. And even knowing what was about to happen, y sabiendo lo que iba a suceder, Jesus wanted to spend his final moments with his friends. Y sabiendo lo que iba a suceder, Jesús quiso pasar los últimos momentos con sus amigos. At the end of that meal, he took the bread and he blessed it. And he broke it and said, This is my body that is broken for all of you. Y después de haber cenado, tomó la copa, dando gracias, lo bendijo, y dijo, tomen y beben. Esta es la copa del nuevo pacto, mi sangre que se va a derramar por toda la humanidad para el perdón de sus pecados. Y cuando lo hagan, háganlo en conmemoración mía. Tonight, as we come to take communion, we want to invite you, once you have taken communion, to go over to the cross. You see there are lots of candles there. And take some time at the cross. Linger as long as you want. There will be music playing, but there will be no dismissal. There is no benediction for this evening. Because just much like that night after Jesus had been taken, the disciples one by one or two by two began to leave on their own and to find their way away. And so as you depart this evening, we will depart in silence. We'll depart in a time of quiet solitude to remember that fateful night, Jesus's last night alive. So después de haber comulgado, son invitados a encender una vela. Pueden pasar todo el tiempo que desean meditando Orando, vamos a tocar música mientras uh, uh, comulgan y después de haber comulgado. Esta noche no van a tener una bendición, simplemente cuando están listos se, se pueden ir. Mucho como los, los discípulos salieron cuando habían terminado de cenar. So we invite you to come forward as the usher directs.
Jesus, remember me. 